And welcome to Mr. C's live presentation of Reading Decimals. That's right, reading them out loud because it's important that you know how to say them in words. You have to know the names of your decimal place values in order to get here. If you don't know the names of the different place values for decimals, you gotta watch that video first, try that first before you do this. Okay, so let's get right into it. Why would I want to know how to read and how to say decimals and mixed numbers, Mr. C? Well, there's a whole bunch of reasons. Uh, being able to read decimals shows that you understand them, right? So if you can't read them, you probably don't exactly get them, right? Um, so it's important that you learn how to read them as a step in understanding what a decimal or what a fraction or a piece of something even is. It's going to help you to communicate with your teachers and make sure that your teachers know that you understand what you're doing. But even more than that, what I think it's useful for is it's going to let you write down decimals and mixed numbers without seeing them, right? Like if I said a decimal right now, could you write it down in digits? Probably not. I mean, you're watching this video, right? But by the end of this video, you should be able to do that. You should be able to listen to what I'm saying, like a mixed number or a decimal, and write it down in digits, okay? So let's jump right in. <laughs> let's do it! All right, here's the first one we're going to do. Now, I'm not going to write these out in words. I'm just going to explain and say them. Maybe I'll write a few of them out in words. How's that sound? So when reading a decimal, this is what you do. First, okay, this is not a mixed number right? It's just a decimal. There's no whole numbers over here. So I'm going to read it a little differently than I would a mixed number, and, and I'll show you that in a minute. But for now, you're just going to look at, I'm going to see my decimal point, and I'm going to look at all the numbers to this side of it, and I'm going to read them together. So I'm not going to say 1, 4. I'm just going to look at this number and say, what is that number? That number is 14, all right? Now, I'm going to find the place value of the last digit. You see that four? That's the last digit in the number. What place value is that? It's the hundred. Oh no, I don't know how to spell hundredths. I think I do. Hundredths. Maybe that D is not supposed to be there. Doesn't matter. Okay. It's the hundredths place. Hundredths. So when I'm reading this number, I read it as 14 hundredths. It's not that hard, right? 14 hundredths, right? It's really, if you know your place values, it's not that hard, okay? So let's do the next one. <laughs> All right, I found my decimal point, right? There's no whole numbers on this side, so I'm just going to read these numbers together. 9, 0, and 4. When put together, you would read it as 904, right? And then what place value is my final or my last digit in? Well, it's not in the hundredths place anymore. Now, it's in the thousandths, the thousandths place. So this number is read 904 thousandths. That's easy, right? All right, let's do one more. You might say, what? This one's freaking me out with these zeros, right? Okay, but if you saw the, okay, we, we found our decimal point. There's no whole numbers. So we got zero, zero, two. How would you read that? Two. You just say two. And then what place value is, the, or uh, what place value is the final digit in? This two is in the thousandths place, just like that four. So you'd read this as two thousandths. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. Uh, just really quickly while we're going over this, I want to show you sometimes you can also read digits like this. Let's say we had this digit. You can add a zero here. And you can read this as either 4 tenths or 40 hundredths. That might be kind of a next level thing. If you didn't understand that, uh, I'm not going to explain it any further. But uh, you can add zeros to the end of decimals, and you can read them differently. right? So now I would read it as 400 thousandths. Kind of cool, huh? It's kind of next level thinking in decimals, even beyond what we're going to go into today. Okay, so now I want to look at a couple of mixed numbers. <laughs> mixed numbers are whole numbers and decimals put together. So this number has a whole number. So first I'm going to find my decimal point. Then I'm going to read the numbers on the left-hand side. Well, that's easy. One. All right, one. I'll write this one out. When I get to the decimal point, I say and. All right, I'm going to capitalize and, and, okay? So I would read this number one and 
And then you just do the same thing over here that we did with these ones. One and three. What place value is that in? It's in the hundredths place. So it's one and three. Sorry for my handwriting. I know it's awful. One and three hundredths. E D T H S. One and three hundredths. All right, let's do that a couple more times. <laughs> Some slightly harder ones. All right. Found my decimal point. It's a mixed number, so I read the whole number and the decimal separately. 48. What do I say when I see the decimal point? And 123. And what place value is the final digit in? It's in the thousandths place. So this is read 48 and 123 thousandths. All right, let's do one more. I put a, a really big whole number on this one. All right, I found my decimal point. I'm going to read each side and separate it with an and. 27,004 and 77 hundredths. Did you get it? If you didn't get it, back it up and watch this section again. Make sure that you really know what you're doing before we move forward. Okay, but we're already kind of running out of time, so I want to just quickly go to what we learned. Well, we learned a whole bunch of stuff. We learned that you have to understand place value to be able to read decimals. If you don't know your decimal place values, you're not going to be able to read them. So make sure you learn that first. We also learned you have to say and when you see a decimal point in a mixed number. So if there's no whole number there, well, you don't have to worry about it. But if there is a whole number there, then you separate your whole number and your decimal with the word and. Pretty easy once you practice it a little bit. Uh, and we also learned that knowing how to read decimals is going to help you to write them down without seeing them. And I'm going to test you right now. Are you ready? You're going to try it. Can you do this? Can you do it? Yes, Mr. C, we can do it. All right. Listen while I say the following numbers. And then you're going to try to write them down as digits. That means not words. So you're going to write them down as numbers, OK? I'm going to say three numbers. You try and write them down. You can back up the video and watch it as many times as you have to in order to be able to do this. But I want you to try it, and then I want you to check it with somebody, either your teacher or your mom or your grandma or somebody who knows what they're doing. Okay? Here's the first one. Number one. 103 thousandths. 103 thousandths. Try to write that down in digits. Number two. Five and eight hundredths. Five and eight hundredths. Try and write that down in digits. And then here's the last one. I'm going to make it a hard one. One million four hundred and seven thousand eight hundred two and seven hundred and seventy seven thousandths. You might have to back that one up. I don't even remember what I said. Okay, so back that up, listen to that number again, and then try to write it down in digits. I challenge you to do it, and do it well. All right, practice with this, play with this, because moving forward, it's going to be important that you know how to read decimals and mixed numbers. I hope this helped, and I'll see you next time.